Well, I'm in the River Oaks District right now where a lot of high-end stores have already started boarding up their windows. Now, earlier today, I was downtown where several stores are actually closing early in anticipation of bigger crowds here for the upcoming March tomorrow. This whole area was just swarming. There's so many lives here. What do you do? Walk down Main Street in downtown Houston and one after another businesses are boarded up, repairing damages and others are closed for the day after violence erupted during protests over the weekend. It just makes me sad to see, you know, some of my friends own these businesses and you know, it's just going to cost us more. The manager of Bombay Pizza Company was afraid to step in front of the camera after being inside the shop when things escalated this weekend. She says at first people were marching for George Floyd, but after the march, that's when some people became violent. You can see in this surveillance video where someone breaks the pizza store's window while customers are inside. You saw people with bats. You it didn't seem like anyone was trying to fight for something. It just seemed like people were trying to fight. Now business owners are cleaning up today. Some like Humberto Martinez are closing shop early for the safety of his staff and customers. We have a right to protest as American citizens, as long as we do it the right way. Okay. Not destroying our, our, our local businesses. Now coming up tonight at 630, you'll hear just how much it costs for local businesses to clean up some of that mess that was created over the weekend and a message that one local business owner has to others during this time. Reporting live, Roxy Bustamante, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Certainly hoping.